I mean, I think it really depends on, you know, what kind of business you're in, you know. So, like, if you're doing, like, a more like a restaurant type of a business, you may not need to show your face, you know. In that case, you may need to just show your food, your location, you know, what kind of stuff you have there, uh, drinks, uh, stuff like that. Maybe you can show people, but maybe people eating, people interacting with each other, having fun at your place, something like that. So, in that case, you may not need the presence of yourself in there. But let's just say you're doing something like we're doing here, so we're providing some sort of uh, education in this case, you know. So in that case, you know, it may be more adequate to be more personal because at that point, you know, you're providing value that's going to help them in their lives, you know, just like we're doing here. So it might be more useful if you could see us, you know, just like you're watching this video right now. You can see, you know, who we are and how we are and you can see us like in real time. So, you know, that, that make, may make more sense. So, you know let's just say that in the case that you actually need to use your face um you know how do you go about it you know so um, you know i personally you know didn't start off being this good in video you know i obviously i struggled a lot when i first started and it was it was pretty crazy you know <laughs> i my videos were just not that fun they were not interactive i couldn't be charismatic and i couldn't be as expressive as i am today but uh you know eventually you gotta you just kind of work at it and you know eventually you do get to where you want to get to but of course you know it's going to take some hard work and it's going to take a lot of emotional um you know perseverance really but uh you know if you're in that if you're in that position i would highly recommend that you just um you know you educate yourself of course you know on how you can go about it and then just you know start to start practicing you know practice wherever it is that you can you know i started practicing off and and obviously not out here you know it would have been crazy if i would have tried to do it out here you know actually i was extremely scared to record videos out out here in the street or just in the sidewalk because you know i was very fearful you know that oh you know somebody's gonna come and they're gonna watch me they're gonna hear me they're gonna hear how how badly i'm doing and how i'm struggling <laughs> and it's gonna be like it's gonna be a disaster you know and I just wanted to avoid all that embarrassment because I felt like I was like really bad. I was a really bad speaker. So, you know, you don't have to do it like that. If you just start off by yourself, do it in your room, do it in, you know, in some closed area where nobody can see you and stuff. And, you know, you're allowed to make the mistakes that you want to make and nobody's going to judge you and nobody's going to tell you anything. And, you know, little by little, you know, you can start challenging, challenging yourself to get out here a little bit more or something, you know, and very where there's little bit of people and then you can make a video where there's lots of people at the end you know that's kind of what i did you know i went to uh i went to many places you know <laughs> where there was like a lot of people and i would just get in the middle and start recording and stuff you know that was quite a challenge you know maybe we can do that for the podcast at, at some point you know we can go oh, to, yeah. of course you know when this whole thing is over you know because right now we can't get in 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 big crowds you know that's not <laughs> that's not conceivable probably for the rest of the year until next year but uh yeah i mean de soon. definitely start, start start small and do what you can at first you know it's going to be a struggle but you know if you have to do it you have to do it and make sure you don't ignore it now of course you know sometimes you may not need to do that in that case you know you're well off you can just do voiceovers you can do presentations you can do um you can have your voice in the background while you show some other things you know maybe you're making you know gameplay videos and you know you just want to show the your skills at playing a, a certain game or something or a walkthrough you're trying to help somebody uh get through pass through a certain level so in that case you know you may just want to show the game and maybe you just you know put your voice in the background the uh, equipment can vary as well depending on what industry you're in you know for some industries you may need a more high-end camera and some you may just be you might just be able to get off with your with your uh, cell phone you know that that just may be enough you know or you might just get away with a 50 to 100 dollar camera that might just do the job you know when you're just starting off because i the thing is is that at first you should focus on the frequency of the content you know putting out as much content as you can really and really not focus on you know making it you know really crazy you know because like i said you're not going to have that much attention you're not going to have that many followers when you start off and so it just doesn't uh, unless you can afford the time and you can afford the uh, the investment you know to make very high quality content right from the beginning do it but if you can't don't let that stop you either you know yeah. just make the the content that you can make at first use whatever equipment you can use at first and try to use uh there's free software out there that you can use as well if you're you know you're looking to edit videos and 
and making them really cool. You know, there's already a, a software out there that you can use for free and they can do really the basics of what you really need to do as far as uh, making a video cool. And if you don't know how to use the software, well, well, there's free videos on YouTube as well where you can learn how to use that specific software. And depending on what your industry is, you know, go and find that specific thing that you need to do you know maybe you need to add subtitles to the uh, video so you can you can go and do a video search on youtube on how to add subtitles maybe you need to do transitions maybe you need to add special effects in there maybe you need to uh, add like a light here a light here or something maybe you want to add your logo to the to the video stuff like that you know like go and uh you use um go and do the do the research you know and you'll find something out there for free you just need to create content you, you just need your consumer to feel like they're getting some sort of value from your content you know if you're not able to do that it doesn't matter you know what kind of equipment you're using you could be using the best equipment ever yeah. but if you're going to use your equipment just to make ads and have people just buy your stuff without even knowing you and have people sign up to stuff it's just not gonna be it's just not gonna do it you know no matter how good your editing skills are no matter how good your camera is if you're just in social media to take value from people and take their stuff there it's just not gonna work out for you so always just focus on the value and focus on the frequency of the content